Namaste. Welcome everyone. Today is the 24th day of Sun Jude's challenge, 30 minutes of yoga every day in June. We are supporting Sun Jude's in their mission of battling childhood cancer. And um, there is a link under this video. You can donate if you have means. Please also you can share this video if you like it and, and share the, um, the fundraiser if you can. So today, I would like to invite you to practice a sequence that I've designed for, especially for stress and anxiety. So for those days where you feel a little bit more anxious and, and stressed, this is a beautiful way to invoke um, parasympathetic nervous system the, to bring the body into the relaxation mode. So let's start with chanting Om three times. Please join me, that feels comfortable for you. Take a nice deep breath and Notice how you feel physically, mentally, and also on the emotional level, what kind of emotions, what kind of feelings are present. Try not to name them, not to judge them, just feel what's there inside. Give yourself a few moments to examine your body, your mind, to see what kind of thoughts are present, are coming and going, and what emotions you feel. How do they feel in your body? How your body is responding to what you think, to what you feel. We'll start with a few rounds of sun breath. So standing on your feet under your hips, Bring hands together and we'll combine breath and movement. So as we are practicing to relax and to invoke the parasympathetic nervous system, so that's the rest and digest um, mode of your nervous system, we try to elongate our exhalations. So let's work on that. So let's inhale through the nose, if that's possible, in and out, lifting your arms up, so you can see me. And on exhalation, just stretch the arms to sides and make a big circle. Inhale. And exhale longer than you are inhaling. Inhaling up all the way. And exhale. Inhale. A few times on your own, allowing your own breath to guide you. Exhalation don't have to be super long, but just a little bit longer than your inhales are. Inhaling up and combining breath and movement. And exhaling. And you can continue doing like that, or with inhalation, as you lift your arms, you may come on your tippy toes. So keeping your feet either together, that's a little bit more difficult, or standing with your feet under your hips. Inhale, lifting your hands and heels. And then exhaling. So from side, it looks like that.
At the end of the movement, my heels are on the floor and my hands are together. At, at the end of my breath. Now I'm inhaling, lifting the arms up, coming up on my tippy toes, higher, 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 and lifting the arms. And long exhalation, slowly lowering my arms, letting go of my breath, exhaling long. And at the end of the breath, my heels are on the floor and my hands are together. So let's do just a few more of that breath. You can close your eyes and do it on your own, your own pace. If lifting your heels creates challenge for your balance, you can stay with your heels on the ground. It's totally fine. Maybe just one or two more. Synchronizing at breath and movement. Beautiful. From here, let's move to half sun salutations. Again, exhaling longer than we are inhaling. Uh, today I'll say it many times, but that's the key. If the exhalations, if it's difficult for you to exhale longer than you inhale, strive for equal breath, equal inhalation and equal exhalation, all right? Just we inhale, bring your hands, inhale and exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Now inhale, lifting your arms up. Exhale, long exhalation, bend your knees and slowly lower your arms down. So the chest goes on your thighs. Back is pretty straight. Then inhale, bringing your hands to your thighs, chest goes forward. Exhale, you slide down. Inhale, slowly lifting your arms all the way up. And exhale, long exhalation, hands together and slowly coming in front of your heart. Let me do it from the side. Inhale. Long exhalation. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, folding forward, bending your knees. Inhale, hands come to your thighs. Exhale, long exhalation, slide down. Inhaling, up. Long exhalations, hands slowly coming to front of your heart. Inhale, up. I'm doing uh, inhalations for four and exhalations for six. You can do your own ratio. Exhaling just side down, bending your knees. Inhale, hands to the thighs. And exhaling, slide down towards your heels. Inhaling up. Exhaling, hands in front of your heart. Inhaling up. Exhaling forward, bending the knees. Inhale, hands to thighs. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. One more time, inhale up. 
Exhale down. Inhale, hands near thighs. Exhale down, slide. Inhale all the way up. Exhale down, heads in front of the heart. Separate your feet, palms facing forward. Close your eyes for a moment. Notice your heartbeat and notice the energy in your body. Notice your breath. You're breathing in and out through the nose, paying attention to that breathing. Breath combined with movement. If this is too much to think about breath and movement together, let go of that thinking, let go of like caring about that much and just do the movement and breathe whichever way you can. And you will see that it will help you anyway. Just we are going towards that goal of exhaling longer. But if it's in the beginning, it's difficult, which is for many people, so it's normal maybe challenging in the beginning to do it like that. Just do whatever you can. And let's continue with that breath and movement coming to the front of the yoga mat. We're going for a few warrior ones as you're breathing and moving. So stepping your right foot back, slightly to side, make sure that the stance is comfortable, wide enough, the hips are facing forward. Both knees straight to start with. And as we inhale, we bend the front knee and lift the arms up. And by the way, it's mostly on the back leg, but we don't worry about alignment here today that much. It's more about that movement and breathing and combining breath and movement. So inhaling again, if you can. Inhale and then exhale a little bit longer as you're exhaling and bringing your arms down and stretching that knee. So allow your breath to guide you. I'm not going to give you any guidance um, about how long exactly your breath needs to be. Your body knows better. Exhaling a little bit longer than you inhale, if that's possible. Noticing the pause after the exhalation. And then coming into that inhalation again and bending the knee. And exhaling a little bit longer, slower move, long move. And there is that pause at the end, just a tiny pause. And then again, inhalation. As you bend your knee, lift your arms, count in your head or not. And then exhale a little bit longer if that's possible. on your own, just a few more times, breathing in and out. Don't worry too much about form, make sure it's comfortable and steady, that's the only requirement. Comfortable and steady pose, and move and breathe. And then let's switch sides, so sending your back foot forward and the left one goes back. Again, finding a comfortable stance, wide enough, hips face forward, and that's the only requirement. And then inhale, lifting your arms, bending the front knee, pressing the foot back, the back foot down, and breathing in and out through your nose, if you can. If for any reason you cannot breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth. Just bring your awareness to that pause that's after exhalation. So just one more time.
and release. We'll move to moving and breathing in warrior two. Again, separate your legs. Hello, sonar. Separating your feet and bending your right knee. Pressing the outside of the left foot to the ground. Trying to make sure that the knee doesn't go in front of the ankle. But today we don't worry that much about the form. It's more about, more about, may, about being comfortable in the posture so that you can move and breathe, okay? So as we inhale, just lift the arms up. And again, trying to exhale a little bit longer as you bend the knee and bring your arms to warrior two and turn your head to the right. Inhaling up. Noticing the pause after the exhalation. Exhaling a little bit longer to warrior two, and then let go. <laughs> I have this bird here. We're moving to the other side, this time the left foot turns to the left. The right one is either forward or slightly in. Stretching the arms, making sure that the posture is comfortable. Beautiful. Let's inhale and lift the arms up. Both things are straight. And on exhalation, we bend the left knee and come to warrior two, looking to the left. Arms are parallel to the ground. And let's inhaling up. Count your inhalation, count your exhalations, if that doesn't distract you too much. If that causes more um, stress, don't. Allow your own breath to guide you. That's why I'm not telling you are to bring your arms up, down. I think by now you get it. It's a simple practice and let go. Now we can go to a little bit of um, warrior three in as we move and breathe. We're not getting into a perfect warrior three, of course. We're just moving and breathing into the form of a variation of warrior three. So don't worry. Let's bring your hands in front of the heart. Do I have enough space? Or maybe I should do it this way. No. <laughs> as I inhale, I prepare and as I exhale, I stretch my right leg and bring my left leg and bring my arms to side. If this is too much, you can bring your, keep your toes on the floor, okay? It's not about warrior three today, it's about de-stressing. So inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale like flying. Longer exhalation. Inhale. And exhale. If the balance is an issue, you can have a chair in front of you. Let me get my 
picture here for the other side. So you can do it this way. You can always inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands on the chair and then stretch the leg back. So that's the option if balance is an issue. I'm going to the other side now. Inhale. And as you exhale, toes are either, either on the floor or going off. And And so now, that's a little bit of balancing after we did all that breathing and moving. So let's stand on the right leg for the beautiful tree pose, for a peaceful, calm posture. Feel free to use a chair or anything that you need to, or even a wall. If you need to use the wall, just having one finger sometimes helps if balance is an issue. Okay, now inhale, standing on the right leg, look at something that's not moving in front of you. Feel the foot and the floor connection. And then the left foot goes either on your ankle, calf, your thigh, or whatever version of the tree that you are practicing. And the hands either in front of your heart, Shoulders relax, or the hands can come over your head if that's in your practice, or any other variation. So whatever is your practice of the tree, go for that and just enjoy it. Continue breathing through your nose. Bring your hands in front of the heart. Let go of your arms and let go of your foot. And then standing on the other leg, look at something that's not moving again. Find your balance, bring the body weight on the left leg. And the right foot comes either on your ankle, calf, or thigh. So whatever it is for you, as long as not pressing the knee from the side. Look at that point that, that's not moving. That really helps maintaining balance, relaxing your shoulders, and your hands can come into any position that you like to practice in, whatever works for you best. Go. Now I'm inviting you to sit. If you can sit cross-legged, please go for that. Otherwise, any way that you can comfortably sit, including sitting in a chair, or whatever it is, we'll go for a little bit of a breathing exercise. It's alternate nostril breathing. We use the right hand covering the thumb, the right nostril with your thumb and the left nostril with your ring finger. So traditional way to do it is bringing your right hand into a Vishnu Mudra. So you are bringing your peace fingers and you're folding them down and you left with your thumb and your ring finger with the pinky together. So they will alternate and I will lead you through that. 
the left hand is folded in Vishnu, in um, Chin Mudra. So we are connecting the thumb with index finger and lift it and keeping it hand palm up on the left knee, relaxing the shoulders. If this is too much, if the mudra is too much and it's stressing you out, just use whichever fingers, okay? That's for alternate nostril breathing. So let's, oh, let's take a nice deep breath. Cover your right nostril and inhale through the left. Covering the left nostril, exhale on the right. Pause for a moment. Inhale on the right. Switch. Exhale on the left. Shoulders are relaxed. Pause. Inhale on the left. Switch, covering the left nostril, open your right and exhale on the right. Pause after the exhalation. Inhale on the right. Switch, exhale on the left. Pause. Left inhale. Switch. Cover the left. Open the right. Exhale. Long exhalation. See if you can do exhalation longer than you inhale. Again, the same principle. Noticing the pause after the exhalation. And continue on your own pace. Inhaling on the right. Switching, exhaling on the left. Noticing the pause. And on the side that you exhale, then you inhale, like a pendulum. And switching and exhaling. So for a few moments, just practice it on your own, trying to find your own pace in breath. To switch after the inhalation. Keep your eyes closed or open. One more round. And after the exhalation, let go of that breath, close your eyes for a moment and bring both hands, fingers, thumb, thumbs and index fingers touching, palms facing up, lift them on, keep them on your uh, knees, palms facing up. Shoulders relaxed. Stay here for a moment. Noticing how you feel. And whenever ready, you can lie down on your back. Or if you are in a chair, you want to stay in a chair, just make sure that your back is fully um, supported by the back of the chair. Just notice your body, notice how you feel, notice the breath. 
notice the effect of this practice on your system. So you can relax your feet, let go of any tension in your calves and thighs. Relaxing your hips, buttocks. Lower back, mid and upper back, noticing the connection of your back and the yoga mat. Notice your chest and abdomen and see if you can let go of any tension there. Relaxing your arms, shoulders, and the neck. Spending a few moments with your shoulders. And visualize breath as color or light. You may imagine visualize breathing into your shoulders and softening them. Relaxing your face, paying special attention to your jaw. Whole face relaxing, whole body's relaxed. Whole body, mind, relax. And you can stay here for as long as you want. Or you can just stretch your body, move your toes, your fingers, maybe move your head a little bit from side to side. And whichever way makes sense to you coming up to sitting again. If you're not sitting at this moment, can bring your hands in front of your heart, bowing to your own heart, your inner teacher. The light in me honors the same light in you. Namaste. So again, thank you so much for practicing together. I hope this sequence was useful and the more you practice it the easier the breath and movement become and more effective they are so the more you practice the practice becomes better for you and the goal that you have which here is um, de-stressing and teaching the body a healthy body and mind to healthily respond to stress right because stress is open in our life. This we cannot, um, the challenges, the stress, this we cannot control always. But the way we approach it and the way we respond to stress is something that we can control, something that we can learn how to do in a healthier way. So again, thank you so much. And I hope that you have a peaceful rest of your day or evening, whatever it is. And again, this class is part of Sanju's 30 day challenge, 30 minutes of yoga every day. So if you have means, please donate. There is a link under this video. Also, if you find it, the video useful, if you liked it, you can give it a like, write something in comments, 
can subscribe to the channel and press the bell so that you can uh, be notified if I upload any new videos. Thank you so much. Again, namaste.